All right, this is Aaron Brightman, Scarlet Faithful, coming to you live from my car, waiting for sushi on Friday night. I wanted to get this preview out sooner, but alas, did not happen. Busy day, first day off uh, of uh, Christmas break, and uh, a lot going on. But uh, Rutgers, Mississippi State, uh, Saturday noon at the Prudential Center. Aaron live on BTN, massive game for Rutgers. Wanted to um, just get out a quick preview. You know, this won't be long. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, I think, clear in terms of what Rutgers needs to do to win this game. Uh, similar styles with Mississippi State. Both teams love to run in transition. Both teams are very good defensively. Mississippi State is much better on the glass, uh, both in terms of offensive rebounding and in terms of defending their opponents on the glass. Rutgers has to be up, uh, show up for that. Uh, I think that Rutgers is the better pressing team. Rutgers forces turnovers more. Um, Mississippi State is is a worse three-point shooting team, but they're very good inside in terms of two-point efficiency. They're going to attack the rim. Can Watt, Mag, and Cliff defend the rim effectively? Uh, Cliff is, you know, premier shot blocker right now. He's averaging almost four blocks a game. He's top five uh, block rate nationally. Mag has been tremendous inside. Uh, that's going to be a huge key to this game. Can Rutgers hunt threes? Can they uh, be effective like they were against Seton Hall? I'm not saying they're going to shoot 50%, but you know, if you could shoot around 40%, if you can make eight to 10 threes in this game, I think they have a good shot to win. Mississippi State is nine and two right now. They don't have, you know, super impressive resume, but you know, they're in the thirties in Ken Palm and net. This is a uh, quad one neutral court game, huge opportunity for Rutgers. Um, Mississippi State is missing Tulu Smith, the best player. Uh, he was all SEC big man uh, last year, uh, double double guy. Uh, but they have a five ten freshman, Josh Hubbard. He's been excellent. He's shooting around forty percent from three. He does not turn it over. Uh, he is going to be a key. He's five only five ten, so they can put Noah Fernandes on him. They can put your Michael Davis on him, and they're going to mix it up. I'm sure they'll mix it up. That's what Peckle does. Um, but Mississippi State turns it over aside from him. So can they force turnovers? Can they get out in transition? Can they get back on defense? Very big key in limiting Mississippi State in transition. They have to be able to handle the press. Um, they can't turn it over, and they got to rebound. I mean, it's pretty basic. Um, what I'm looking for in this game, I mean, Antoine Wolfolk is a guy I think that could step up. He's been kind of quiet lately. There's going to be opportunities for him. Andre Hyatt's got to show up. His leadership, his efficiency, uh, he's got, you know, he's got, he's got to be on. Uh, they need him in this game big time. Um Derek Simpson, you know, can he emerge? Jermichael Davis, he's played really well lately. Can he keep that going? Noah Fernandez is going to have to make big shots. Gavin Griffiths, can he come off the bench like he did against Seton Hall and be a factor? This is a big prove-it game for Rutgers. This is a game they need to come out with energy, with urgency. I'm not sure how the crowd's going to be. I, it's obviously going to be pro Rutgers. It's a tough, you know, it's tough. It's I, I wish I could be there. I'm not even going to be able to watch it live because I have a family Christmas thing going on that I, I can't miss. Uh, you know, or the wife would, you know, kill me. So um, I'm going to have to watch it taped. Uh, but there's gonna not, not going to be as big of a turnout as it, we think we probably want. But um, there will be a pro Rutgers crowd there. But this team's got to generate their own energy. This game is on the table for them to really help define this season. If they can win this game and go into Big Ten play, if they can finish non-conference play, you know, they have Stonehill next week. But take care of business there. This would be, you know, their biggest statement win. This would be a Q1 neutral game, neutral win. Uh, it would be, you know, they'd be two and two and three, I guess, in quad uh, one and two games. Uh, but it would be a signature win going into the Big Ten play. Give them some momentum. Give them going into the holiday break, you know, some positive vibes. Uh, and this team's still jelling. They're still evolving. This would be Mag's just third game. Uh, it's 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 definitely a, a, a huge game in terms of how high their ceiling can be this season. So you want to see them come out with that type of urgency uh, in terms of having a strategy, sticking together, being focused, uh, creating offense off their defense, playing tough. You know, it's all, all things we know, right? And, and it's nothing, you don't have to reinvent the wheel here. You know, this is this is um, we know the formula this team needs to to come through with to be effective. And, you know, Rutgers has been really good when they front run. You know, if they can jump out to a lead, if they get a couple shots early. They can't lay it. If, if they miss threes early, they cannot let it impact their defense. 
because Mississippi State can, you know, they're not the highest scoring team. They're not a good three point shooting team, but they are very effective in getting to the rim. And if they're not on defensively, they could get blown out in this game. So they have to be tough inside. They need to, um, you know, cut off driving lanes. They need to defend the rim. They can't allow second chance points. You know, Mississippi State misses a lot of threes. They, they can't allow long rebounds. They need to clamp down one shot possessions and they need to be smart offensively. They need to make Mississippi State defend. They need to break that press. They need to share the basketball and they need multiple guys involved. Uh, they need to get Cliff out in space, but they need to hit shots. And that's going to be key in this game. You know, good vibes going back to the Prue. And, you know, obviously that Seton Hall wins looking even better today after the UConn win. But um, this is a golden opportunity for Rutgers. You know, they're not on any uh, bracketology list right now. They're not on the radar. They're in the 70s of Ken Palm and Annette. This would do wonders for both. Uh, well, Ken Palm, you know, does, it, listen, the, it's it's efficiency, right? So they could win 50 to 49. It might not help efficiency. It will help defense, obviously, but not offense. But it will help the net. This would be a big net game, big quad one opportunity, uh, big signature win in non-conference play, uh, opportunity to finish 9-2. and two. It's, it's massive. It's the biggest game of the season so far. Um, school's out. And Mississippi State's traveling. You know, they haven't played since last Sunday. They beat North Texas. They beat, uh, at, which is top 100 team. They beat Arizona State. They beat Northwestern. They lost at Georgia Tech. Uh, and they lost a bad loss uh, at home to Southern. So, but this is a tournament team last year. It's a quality team. Uh, they're balanced. Uh, multiple guys who was defend and shoot. And this is definitely a show us game for Rutgers. Very optimistic. Um, you know, want to see this team respond. They've had a week of practice. Um, they're still coming together, you know, in terms of, of mag now back to Michael Davis asserting himself. You know, he's got to play smart. Um, he's creating well in terms of his shot, but in this game, he's got to be a big distributor. I really think, and, and, and you know, Noah's got to be um, on his game in terms of how he's attacking and distributing. And I think that this team can wear Mississippi State down if they're able to play smart. You know, if they get caught in the ISO, if they get impatient, if they let their defense frustrate them offensively, you know, Mississippi State is really, really good uh, defensively. But Rutgers has to attack. Mississippi State is also, you know, the, the Hubbard is great from the line. Uh, Mississippi State is good from the line. They need to um, defend without fouling, you know, and that's it's, I, I don't know who the crew is going to be. That's going to be a factor. But uh, this is definitely a mentally uh, tough type of game. Which team is mentally more tough? Which team wants it more? Uh, which team can uh, keep the other off the glass? And can Rutgers make some threes? You know, they don't need to shoot 50%, but can they shoot 35 to 40%, 8 to 10? And can they get out to a lead? You know, they, they, they can't bury themselves in a hole. Right. This is not this could be a total rock fight, too. This could be in the 50s. It could. Um, so very curious to see how this team shows up. Um, but this is certainly a game that can raise the ceiling on this season, raise expectations, put them back on the, the spotlight uh, in terms of uh, bracketology and the national radar. I'm excited to see them play. And, um, you know, uh, happy holidays to everybody. And I'll be back with a recap at some point on Saturday, probably late. Uh, and it'll probably kind of be a recap of where this team is going into the holidays uh, with just one non-conference game, Big Ten's wide open. We know that. Um, but I just want to see some crease in this offensively and, and defensively, right, in terms of their help defense. Mag is so key in that. Um, but can Gavin Griffiths stay on the floor with his defense? Can Jermichael Davis generate and be disruptive against a really good team and, and another freshman that has been excellent? So, a lot of tests to know, uh, on Saturday, and uh, excited to see what Rutgers can do. Thanks for listening and watching once again here at the Scarlet Faithful. 